children, gather around, gather around. Oh, have a seat, have a seat. All right, bombs, bombs for everyone. Oh, a match, a match. And now I run away. Why can I get up? It was a chilly day on the island of Sodor, and the engines were completely, utterly, mind-numbingly bored. And also, the siding where the garbage was in the last episode was finally cleaned up. And Hector now resides there. This is fine. And then, along came the Fat Controller. And he was driving very fast and out of control. Guys, isn't he driving a bit too fast? Ah, uh, yes, I think he is. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Ow. I'm in so much pain. Yo, not fucking you lot, fuck you! My car, it's broken, it's damaged! Oh no, I don't even have the money to pay for it because I pissed all my money on new engines and all that. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do in a terrible crash is like this? Aha, I do. Did you just fucking leave us here? Well, yes. Anyways, what did I came down here to say anyway? Oh yes, now I remember. I've got two new engines will be relocated here because I can. Fuck you all. And uh, Joe, here they come now. This is Hank and Flora. They will be relocated here to help out with extra work and all that. And uh, that's about it. Have a good day. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to go driving in my car. Sir, what about the shed? You left it in ruins with your giant ass car! Joe Ho, George Worry, the workmen will come and repair the sheds. And also, I just want to remind you all, there's a snowstorm coming this afternoon, so be aware and... That's about it. Good day now. Brum brum Hong Kong. Oh, Joe. Well, what a gosh darn mess. Even before we got here, I mean, what in the diddly squat happened here, or amigo friendos? I'm terrible, uh, LJ's bad at American accents and all. Well, it was the boss in his yellow fucking car. He just felt like, oh, I'm, Joe, I'm going to go broom broom honk cronk, crash into the shed with my giant massive fucking car. Yeah, I mean, like, what gives? What a pass. And we just got this shed back in the last episode! And near the snow as well. Again. W what's this world coming to? Are they just rinse repeating formulas or something? Well, it could be worse. Oh, my lordy lord. But don't you worry. I'm pretty sure we'll all get along like a house on fire with our relocation. As a matter of fact, where did you guys got previously located from? Vickers Town. 
Oh, what a fucking surprise! We were there in episode four after the end of it. We got kicked out. Yikes. I'm guessing this area is where the less popular rangers reside. Yep, you are correct. Yep. And that's about it. Right, you know what? Uh, since we now got the introductories over, this is the shed. And next to where the that big black truck Hector is, is where we put the rolling stock. That corner used to be a garbage disposal area. And not anymore, so hooray for us. And uh, yeah, we'll be stuck here for a while, and by the looks of it, we'll be just moving locations. And um, our previous contender, Billy, suggested that we go out and prove ourselves worthy. And since the snow's coming, I suggest we all prove ourselves worthy. Oh no. My, my tender's stuck. You're stuck? Look at me! I'm upside down and no one's even fucked to get me out! Now don't you worry, buddy boy. I'll get you feathers out. Alright, Neville boy. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Alright. One, two, three, heave! Thanks, Hank. I owe you one. Ahem. Um, not to be rude, but I'm um, so here. Well, this might be a challenge, but if I can find some rope, I can tow you out. So, yeah, give me a second. Huh. I hope he knows what he's doing. I done it. I pulled you out with a little help from Nevy. I'll say. Oh, it's gonna be there all day and all night. Now then, the whole prove myself worthy thing I told, us that Neville told you, basically, since we're on the short end of the stick on this railway, I thought we would all get together and the camera's tilting for us all to go out and prove ourselves worthy. What a good idea. You know what? Let's go and find some. Mind if I tag along with you? Sure, as long as you don't pull off an American accent like you just did now. Sorry. Soon, Billy and Hank arrived at the shunting yards. Okay, Billy. Now then, where should we start helping ourselves to prove ourselves gosh darn worthy? Well, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, we'll just have to wait for it to come to us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see. Shut up! Shut up! The great race was awful! What are you doing in these yards? Darlene Stanley told me you were banned. Well, you see, devious dickhead, me and my buddy here... Howdy. Are oh, trying to prove ourselves worthy. Well, Charlie and Stanley told me to rearrange a goods train for James, but... Seeing as you're here, how about you can take it for him? Alright, deal! You fucking dickhead! Soon Diesel arranged the goods train for Hank and Billy to take. Well, I gotta say, thank you, Diesel, for arranging this goods train. Well, you know what they say, I'm full of surprises! As you can probably see, cameraman. Oh! Good job, dickhead! You killed the cameraman! Well, excuse me for having a lot of surprises and cadabras and... <laughs> what? What the fuck? Billy, just ignore him and just... Let's just go. You're fine, dickhead. Hello, Mr. Charlie Cher. Are you a back engine? My name is Billy. Sorry, you two look the same. We are not the same! We're not even related! Well, before anything starts, I'm gonna head off. So let's go, Billy. Dickhead! Wow, what 
such an asshole. I got a train! I got a train! Oh my god, will you shut the fuck up for one minute? Or do you know what? Cut the one minute. How about an entire fucking year? I mean, we're all fucking tired of you always whinging and moaning about taking us and screaming like a banshee. Why do you think we always push you off the rails than anyone else, eh? Hmm? 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 That's because you're fucking annoying, James. Just shut the fuck up, you bastard! And that red paint of yours doesn't help it. We prefer it when you are black. Black and quiet. You fucking bastard! Ouch. Oh. Uh, where's my goods train, Diesel? Hank and Billy took it. Yay! Oh, my God. Can my day get any more worse without any individuals being annoying near me? Has anybody seen Toad? I stand corrected. You know what? I'm, I'm tired. I'm going. So, fuck this. Stanley and Charlie can do it themselves. Joe, watch your start to the G. I've got knocked out unconscious with that cliff and it's already snowing. Oh well, got you a bit, my way to the pound. <laughs> Soon the snow arrived and nearly got the entire island. Billy and Hank were weighing at the signal, and a snowdrift also was in their way. Hank, uh, not to be rude, I don't think we ever got a snowplow to go through the snowdrift. Don't you worry a thing, Billy. These cow catchers will get us through in no time. I hope you know what you're doing. What did I tell you, Billy? Easy as pie. Oh, neat. Meanwhile, Diesel was making his way back to the Diesel Works. Soon, Diesel encountered the snowdrift. Rubbish. Snow won't stop me, cos I'm full of surprises. Diesel made his way, and then there was trouble. Diesel ran out of fuel and he was stuck face first into the snow. Oh no, I'm going to be here all night. Soon Henry made his way down the line and then he saw Diesel. Bubbling boilers, what happened here? Oh don't you bother Henry, I'm stuck, leave me here to die. Oh Henry, get me out please. With pleasure. Henry pulled and pulled, but he couldn't pull Diesel out. Bubbly boilers. Don't worry, I'll go and get help. Well, you better. Oh no, it's snowing more. Soon, Henry arrived with Gordon and James. Ah oh, ha ha, bless me, Diesel. How did you get yourself in such a stupid situation? Shut up and get me out. All right, we all know what to do. One, two, three, heave. The three engines tried their hardest to pull Diesel out, but it was no good. Wow, this is terrible. What do we do? You two keep pushing and pulling. I'll go and find someone else to help. Good idea, James. We're going to need all the engines we can. Then James arrived back with Percy. These are who I could find at the moment. Wow, that's just sad. I'll try my hardest. That's what you always say. Now then, everybody, all together now, one, two, three, heave. The engines tried their hardest, but Diesel still wouldn't budge. Soon Thomas arrived with Annie and Clarabelle. He had never seen such a mess. Bust my buffers, Percy. What's happened? Diesel's stuck and we're trying to pull him out. And with no luck. 
Oof! Well, with the snow coming out of nowhere, it won't get anywhere far. But don't worry, I'll just take my passengers back to the last station. And who knows, maybe I'll find someone else on the way. Hurry back, Thomas! Don't worry, Percy, my best friend, I will. Soon, Thomas arrived back with Donald and Douglas. And they all got together and tried their hardest. All right, Edwidge. OK, everybody, on the count of three, we'll give it another go. One, two, three... Heave! No matter what they did, they, they tugged, pulled, slid and pulled, but they still couldn't get Diesel out. Soon, Harry and Bert showed up. And since they saw what was happening in the situation, they did not hesitate and they tried to give it a try as well. And then Dennis and Flora arrived and they helped out too. Soon Molly and Neville arrived and they helped out too. Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three, heave! They pulled and pushed, they pulled and tugged and slipped and tugged, but it was no good. Oh, it's useless. We'll never get him out at this rate. We'll have to leave him to freeze to death. Hey, that's my friend you're talking about there. He's even my friend too. Ah, hold your wished. We're trying hard as we can. Even if me and Donny are snow experts, we'll never be able to get him out. Dougie's right. Maybe there's something clinging onto him. Or maybe we're just going to have to leave him here for a while. So does this mean Diesel won't be at my birthday next week, Thomas? Sadly, he will not be with us. But then, who is to arrive but Hank and Billy? Ah, uh, say, what is this human centipede train doing on the main line? Well, you see, Hank, Diesel is stuck and we're all trying to pull him out. And so far, with the many engines you can see here, no luck. In the slightest. I mean, that's kind of dumb, if you come to think of it. Well, since me and Hank are here, I think we could easily pull him out and... Dude! Where have you been, dude? Oliver, I can explain. I wanted to be with someone else for a while and... Uh, I know, dude. I'm just a bit worried, that's all. Let's go home and... Hi, White! Yes? Could you give me and my friends here a little hand before you fuck off? Eh, why not? I'll do the best I can. That same goes for me. So what are we waiting for? Let's get ready. Don't you worry, Diesel. Hold on tight. I've been holding tight for ages and I'm cold. Are you ready, Hank? I'm ready. Let's get her done. All righty then. Five. Four. Three, two, one, heave! Well, with all our heaving and hoeing and many thanks to Hank, what is we've managed to get Diesel out. Well done, all of you. Yes, well done to all. Thank you for rescuing me, everyone. If there's anything I could do in return, please tell me. I, oh, I don't know, maybe a little more respect and not being an asshole to everyone. Actually, that's not a bad plan, Donald. Well done, my dude. Oh, any time, Niv. Don't worry, I will prove myself useful. Yeah, stop being a dickhead everyone once in a while. 
And then the fat controller arrived. Beep beep, Hong Kong, boom boom. Yo, hello, Angie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, bother. I'm stuck. I require assistance, please. Uh, well, no. You could stay there because you ripped our fucking shed, you fat bastard. What? When I get out of here, you're all going to be in big trouble, all of you there. You're all going to be in big trouble and there will be consequences. All right, everyone. I suggest we all leg it. Leg it now. And so everyone ran away and left the fat controller to freeze to death in the snow. <laughs> Forgot about your mum.